Young and Naive episode 3 manze <laughs> yeah entertainment nse i say me naitwa Ken Kimani hapa welcome and i thank you all for the people who have been showing me support 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 manze kuanzia next week nitakuwa nikitaja mtu mwenye ame comment akiwa wa kwanza <laughs> yeah nitakuwa nikimtaja hapa hivi nampiga shout out ndio ndio tuweze ku grow the community si ndio eh na pia uweze kujibamba hapo so leo story ya leo nawapeleka back nikiwa mtoto mdogo nikiwa mtoi mdogo sana i think i was in class 1 eh watu wanaenda class 1 okay miaka ngapi 7 hapo 8 si ndio no actually I was not in class one. I think I was in nursery school. I was very very young and I can remember this story na wakati nilikuwa nakumbuka hii story nilikuwa tuna check up because I was young naive and foolish. <laughs> yeah. So um sijui kama ushai kuwa na kitu tu fulani hapo kitu huwezi fanya kwa wenyewe. Like kwa kina mtu. Umeget? Sijui do you have that thing like mpaka saa hii una feeling hiyo kitu ukiamua ti ukisikia unaenda kufanya hiyo kitu kwa kina mtu especially ukiwa umetembelea rafiki yako ama family ama your friends eh? unasikia anga tu hiyo kitu tai kuifanya so i had me yangu inakuwa ku change nguo <laughs> yeah but hebu niambie yako hapo chini kwa comments me at, actually my friends can tell you mimi nikienda kwako manze kama unataka nioge na nikiwa kwako home manze kuwa tu na, na bathroom alafu kuwa na towel ya wageni hapo <laughs> nitaoga nikiwa very comfortable like, like nakuanga tu like mimi spendi kutoa nguo kwa wenyewe sijui naona tu kunaweza chomeka anything that can happen manze alafu ujisikie tu uko uchi kwa wenyewe i'm not very comfortable and this thing i janza juzi so when i was young in nasser school <coughs> nilikuwa na focus mami ya wedo fulani ya mtu anaitwa washera shari washera shari by the way i'm looking for you uh, if, in case you happen to see this uh, video make sure you contact me washera shari ni wa huko kairo huko huko ndio kwetu huko karibu na abadai tunaanga abadai kwa hapa kwa hapa hapa pambelo it's like one it's like 30 kilometers from where we live abadai kwa hapo yeah <coughs> So washera shari ameambia mama Kimani mimi kama Kimani as mimi wedding unizalie Kimani mwingine and i quote by the even walisema na mamangu akasema ni sawa uh, nitasimamia wedding and uh, yeah that was it coincidentally we had a uh, something a barrio yeah there was a barrio uh, of my auntie uh, me her soul rest in peace na this time round eh? like the barrio likuwa leo alafu wedding ni kesho so we went and buried our auntie and then after we buried our auntie because ilikuwa home ni sister ya mokolo kesho yake ndio tulikuwa tunafaa kwenda wedo so tukatoka tukalala ocha like kwa kina mokolo ndio tuende wedo the following morning very early in the morning now because presenya tulikuwa tunaenda wedding hiyo time hakukuwa na gari watu wenye wametoka that side of Kiriaini Cairo huko walikuwa wanjua kiambudhia tu to Kiriaini town Kiriaini wanaitanga hiyo place Kiriaini hakukuwa na magari hiyo time so tulia mkama pema by 5 uh, ndio by kitu 7ish tulikuwa tumeshafika eh kiambudhia town na <coughs> wakati tulifika huko my mom akaniambia cheki hata kama unaenda kusimamia hii harusi <laughs> you have to go and change nguo zako ziko kwa wapi kwa kina washera washera shari ah, kwa ziko huko like ziko huko like nguo za wasimamizi zilikuwa zimekuwa huko and you maybe usiamue tu unajua kuna watu tu wanaamuanga tu kuvaa hiyo nguo <laughs> just before hiyo hiyo siku ya wedding ifike so walikuwa wametuweka hizo nguo huko eh hey, mimi venye niliambiwa manzee mimi naenda kuvalia nguo huko nilileta shida 
la I brought problems yenye nilikata na nikakata na nikakata na nikasema sivali nguo huko. So washere alikuwa ameambia mama yangu hii wedding haitafanyika until Timani yakue. Like we were like alikuwa anaona kama ni mtoi wake. I don't know why. So my mom anapigia washera anamwambia Kim ni yale yakoro gamerela. Oh, Kim amekataa kusimamia harusi. <laughs> Kim amekataa kusimamia harusi because amesema akuje kuvalia nguo kwake kwa kwenu. That is kwa your parents. Ah, eh. Na sasa anaamua aje. Like hiyo time mimi ni kijana mdogo. Nasari school manze. Hiyo time ndio nasumbua hivyo. So umeona what the solution the solution is is that hizo nguo ziletwe ndio avalie huko home akuje nazo. Washera akasema hapana hizo nguo ziwezi kuja home like hizi nguo mimi ndio nimejinunulia and I want them like watu wakuja wavalie huko ndio kama ni fupi zina adjust zina adjustiwa haraka haraka mtu anavaa na tunaenda wedu haraka haraka. Hey. So I I remember we were supposed to kufika your wedding kitu eight hapo I remember this story like it was yesterday because it's something that I relate with mimi kuvalia nguo kwa wenyewe inakonga shida ama kukaa uchi that is yeah hata <laughs> someone actually nashangaanga tukiwa set books unajua set books watu wana, walikuwa na vaa nguo within 3 seconds unafaa kuwa umechange attire yako from obura to king or wang sing or to whatever you know yeah ni nilikuwa fanya set books a story for another day so mimi nikakataa kabisa na eight kafika nikasema bado mimi siendi kufanya hiyo wedding hata kama nguo zangu za nguo ziko huko so i want to tell you the reason the main reason of me going to do how they convinced me and how they tricked me waliniambia everyone will leave the house uache nyumba ukiwa peke yako ndio uchenje nguo and true to the word i made sure everyone everyone ametoka hiyo home hiyo iko hiyo room ameni acha peke yake na hiyo time unaona ni kijana wa nasari school na wapia stress yote manze but anyway arusi ilifanyika <laughs> i was young na even foolish because karibu wadini ya wenyewe postponiwe because of naivety yangu manze because of kukosa kuvaa nguo manze because of kufeels you comfortable so i'm giving you this story today it's a short episode <laughs> of today Yeah but I'm giving you this story ndio hapo kwa hiyo comment section hebu niambie what is that one thing that uh, you don't feel comfortable doing at another person's place until today na ilianza maybe kwa mtoi and I would love 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 to listen and listen to your stories najua everyone has a story to tell and I want to listen to yours Yeah it has been the shortest episode of uh, Yente Tetemente. I love you guys and uh, make sure you subscribe, like, comment and share this episode. Manze you've been showing me love <coughs> for the past few days I've been here and I want to walk this journey with you. Niwaambie stories zangu zote za maisha tuingie tu huko kwa archives tutoe stories zingine huko tuwape hapa. Tulanti si wote tucheke sisi wote na tufurahie sisi wote, si ndio? Until next time Yente Tetemente na wapenda sana.